missing jewel, and now Cramorant's full belly. What are you thinking, Pikachu? I figured it out! A bolt of brilliance! The stolen jewel we seek is right over there! This is it. Let's take care of business. <laughs> Everyone, thank you for coming. You. The sudden conference had better be important. It is. We've identified the real culprit. <gasps> Have you now? Yes, Mr. Barnes isn't the one who stole the jewel. Oh, oh. Who did it, then? I'll explain everything from the beginning. Let's start with how the culprit entered the jewel storage room. There were no signs of forced entry on the door, so the culprit must have used the key. But Growlithe was guarding the key. No one but my husband or Barnes could have taken the key from Growlithe. Yes, exactly. So how did they... I guess it must have been Barnes, then. No, it wasn't. You see, the culprit had a trick up their sleeve for taking the key. The culprit used sleep powder to make Growlithe fall asleep. And after that, they took the key. Do you have evidence of that? Of course. Take a close look at Growlithe's food bowl, Inspector. You'll find traces of Lilligan's sleep powder in it. Of course. So that's how the culprit got into the jewel storage room. But they couldn't possibly have cut open that sturdy display case in such a short time. Yeah, good point. No, they could have if they had Pokémon accomplices. Pokémon? Pokémon. I need water. The culprit somehow used Whimsicott and Ponyard, and got Ponyard to cut open the case. What? How is that even possible? We may understand now how the jewel was stolen. But that doesn't necessarily prove that Barnes is innocent. Actually, I do have proof that Mr. Barnes is innocent. We discovered this note in a Trubbish's possession. Uh, uh, a note? The culprit jotted down their whole plan. They wanted to frame Mr. Barnes for the crime. Then that would mean Barnes is innocent. So who's the real culprit? The real culprit is right here with us. What do you mean? The thief who stole the Aurora Drop. It's... Mr. Turner, you're the culprit! Ooh. Who, me? But, but I'm a victim of this crime. Ponyard punched me. It punched you, huh? 
Ponyard has blades for hands, and I don't see any cuts on you. And, um, if you really f think I'm the culprit, then where's the jewel? I don't have it on me, and I haven't set foot outside the mansion. Where's the jewel? Isn't it obvious? It's with a Pokemon. What? Of course you don't have the stolen jewel. You hid it. In Cramorant's belly. Excuse me? Cramorant may be Turner's partner, but even so... Where is that Cramorant anyway? Mr. Turner, you clearly put a lot of thought into your plan. But when we investigated the crime scene, we found a Cramorant feather. And you underestimated Growlithe's sense of responsibility. Those two things did you in. Now, please call your Cramorant. 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 All right, let me handle this. There it is! The Aurora Drop! And the key to the storage room, too! I'm afraid you can't talk your way out of this, Mr. Turner. <sighs> I was so close to living the easy life. I shouldn't have teamed up with someone I barely knew. Ironic, huh? Cramorant swallowed the jewel, and now you've got to swallow the bitter consequences. Well, let's go. Yeah. <coughs> Cramorant, are you alright? <coughs> The damn shit. Don't just stand there. Hurry up and grab it. Right. How could this be happening? Sanjeev. Turner! Uh, hold on. I swear I had nothing to do with that. Why don't we discuss this down at the station? Growlithe, you did a great job. Ah! Hey, Pikachu. Look. Win -win. Oh. Are you leaving already? See you around! Yes, fiery. Say, Tim, did you notice Cramorant's back? Yeah, there was something glowing on it. I've never seen anything like it. I wonder, maybe Turner didn't know what was going on. Something tells me this is just the beginning. I'm home. Tim's back! Well, you sure are home late. Good evening. Oh, and who is this? My classmate, Rachel. It's nice to meet you. Is she your girlfriend? Huh? Voila. If only...
Dinner's ready, everyone. <laughs> well, I should Wait. probably get going. Come now, why don't you stay and eat with us? Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, you heard them. What do you say? I mean, who could turn down an invitation like that? Yay! Eat up, everyone. I really outdid myself this time. Wow, looks amazing. Thank you, Mom. Mom made her special mac and cheese for us. So this is the dish that Harry kept raving about, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is incredible! Good, huh? Mm. Irene, we need to talk. What is it? I want a divorce. What? Are you joking? Take care of Tim and Sophia for me. Where is this coming from? I'm sorry. Harry, there must be some reason. <laughs> I'm sorry, Irene. Harry... <sighs> Are you okay, Pikachu? You had me worried suddenly fainting like that. Uh, I... fainted? Yes. Hey, feeling better? Yeah, I guess. Pikachu. Huh? What's okay. that? Yeah, it's cool. Mewtwo. You too! There is something the two of you must know. Nerf Mewtwo. When I was in my cave Nerf. a few days ago, I was attacked by several Mewtwo Pokemon. Y. Yeah, y, we saw on the news. No matter how many times I overpowered them, they didn't seem to feel a thing. Maybe R again? No. These Pokémon had no will of their own, as if something was controlling them. As for Harry... Harry! Rocket. The one we saw in Cramorant. What in Pokemon? You think the two are related somehow? I'd say, almost certainly. Finding the Aurora Drop may be the key to solving this mystery. Yeah, let's follow up on that. Karma, karma, karma from Pokemon Unite. The Cramorant that stole the Aurora Drop. The swarm of Beedrill that attacked Mewtwo. They both had glowing devices stuck to them. After hearing Mewtwo say my dad's name, I think if I investigate the Aurora Drop, that I might get closer to finding him. The puzzles and the murals also amaze what the dead end. What are you thinking, Pikachu? 
Of course. It all makes sense now. A bolt of brilliance. There's a mechanism on the other side of this wall. Oh. Atto. Huh? One way and now. Give it what fort our manitan. Manitan! Wow. Amazing. Magnificent. Magnificent. What a mm. sight. All right, Tim. Do you think you can use your detective skills to help us get out of here? Sure. With you two working together, I'm sure we'll find the way out. Based on what we've experienced so far, we should be able to get out if we can get this door open. I wonder if there are any clues in this room. Apa ya? Apa itu ke? Door, door, door. Ah. Really? I don't see the connection. Think back to what we saw during our investigation. Hmm. The fire. Wasn't there a mural depicting a Clefairy statue and some footprints? That mural may be the key to solving the mystery of this room. I think you're right. The tiles here match the squares in that mural too. If that's the case, the mural in the room I was in must be related too. However, looking around, I'm not seeing a statue of a human in here. Antena, pá. Eu tenho um instado. Vou ir em derrubo. Vou ir em derrubo. Hold on. You don't have any evidence of that. Try and remember the other mural. I see the lava there. Do you remember where the human statue was located in the mural itself? Of course I remember. I was staring at that thing for two days straight. The human statue was in the second row from the top, on the leftmost side of the mural. And if we assume these tiles are laid out the same as those in the mural... There! That chunk of ice! All right. Looks like you're up, Dharma. Low pokey. Manna. Low poke. Low poke. Low poke. So it was hiding here the whole time. Okay. So we've got the two statues, but what are we supposed to do now? I'm sure the murals must have a clue as to how the mechanism works. There are footprints depicted in the murals. They must indicate the paths to move the stone statues. So that's what they represent. The 
Let's give it a try. Hey, Tim, come give me a hand. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Nothing's happening. Hmm. I was sure that would work. Now that I see the two statues next to each other, the way they're posed looks somehow meaningful. Isn't coexistence between humans and Pokemon a recurring theme in these ruins? Yeah. The decor and artifacts here all attest to that. Black, you see black. it too, don't you, Tim? <laughs> Indiana Jones Clefairy Missing Hand hmm. <laughs> Missing Hand A pose that symbolizes coexistence between humans and Pokemon Something that represents both sides cooperating Working hand in hand. That's it. We need the statues to hold hands. But the left statue's hand is missing. What can we do about that? Could we use a Pokemon move? Good idea, Rachel. And we've got the perfect allies right here with us. That includes me, right? So then, who should we ask for help? Nama Nathan Paul, pukulkan sampai hancur. Slow pun dulu dah akhirnya terus apa? Ada SQ lah, ada pertanyaan lagi. That's it. Let's ask Ice Q to help. Ice Q? I see. I thought of that. Huh. SQ. You've got hey, this, Ice SQ. SQ. Sorry, sir. You let those ice Pokemon escape. You're getting sloppy. Well, we did retrieve the meteorite. Get back here now. I swear, is that guy be any boss here? Now what? Now what? Oh, Detective Pikachu, bring you and our army some respect. Listen up, pal. Hand over that Pikachu and I'll let you walk out of here. What did you say? Are you really sure threatening us is a good idea? Pikachu! Alright! Yeah, 
Sir, you're okay. Chris, sorry to worry you. What's oh. that? Huh? Look. Skill. Hey, up there! It hadn't been you too? Huh? What's that behind it? There's something wrong. Coming this way! Everyone, take cover now! <laughs> no way, Harry! Dad! <sighs> hey, you! What do you think you're doing with my dad? Don't let them interfere. Attack! Fear! Dream! Huh? Yeah, but me too, huh? Me too! Wait! Come back! What if I anime? Dad. <laughs> They're gone. They are gone. What just happened? Why did you have Harry? Terrible. Pokemon battling in the city? What do? It's just like Mayor Myers told us. Ah, Pokemon on, have to be managed. This is not good. You need to get out of here. So it would seem. No, no, no. Do not worry about that human. No, no. Tim! Does Pikachu actually know Mewtwo? You could say that. That's incredible. I guess. But where'd those guys take my dad? How can I get my father back? There must be something I can do. With all the unrest gripping the city, the police have got to know something. Of course. I'll just talk to Inspector Holiday. He's bound to know something useful. The next chapter. Tight security. Along with these cubes. Well, okay. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Uh -huh. I hadn't thought of that. A bolt of brilliance! Huh? If I get the other Pokémon to help, we can all escape! And I can finally get out of here! Hey, Tim. Sorry I kept you waiting. Pikachu! You're okay! Uh, impossible. Why are Pikachu and Luxray here? Detain them already, Brad! Pikachu's coming home with me! Because the real culprit behind all this is you, Chief Butler. 
I'm the culprit? Ha! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Your partner is the one who destroyed the Slowpoke statue. You can't talk your way out of this. You're just playing innocent. Tim, be sure to start off strong. That doesn't exactly prove my innocence, Tim. Stay calm and think this through. That night, Pikachu was at the Hi Hat Cafe. A witness saw him there drinking coffee. I couldn't care less about that. I have irrefutable proof of his guilt. The police have the surveillance camera footage. Are you suggesting it's some other Pokémon in that footage? It clearly shows your Pikachu committing the crime! It's a transformed Ditto. A transformed Ditto? A Ditto recently went missing. And according to its partner... It's not great at transforming and can only imitate what it's able to see. Now look at this. What am I looking at, exactly? There are no stripes on its back, which means that Pikachu is not my partner. You actually think me and that Ditto are working together? Didn't you just say that Ditto has a partner of its own? If I gave it orders, it wouldn't have listened to me. <laughs> the Pokemon in your custody had devices attached to their backs. We put those on in order to manage them. What's wrong with that? Those devices can be used to completely control Pokemon. What are you... That's nonsense! Now that you mention it, when the devices were glowing, the Pokemon did whatever they were told. Don't tell me you believe this! Evolve. Do you hear yourself right now? A device that controls Pokemon? Get Nonsense. As if something like that could even exist. And even if it did, you have no evidence that I used it. But I do have evidence. Take a look. How did... How do you have this? Brad, was it you? Huh? Stop trying to deflect. These documents were found in your office. Which means you were in fact using this device. Documents? Ha! <laughs> You're mistaken, that's all. I'm the chief of the PPB. I would never do such a thing. I don't even have a motive! Our incident. I've discovered your motive. <coughs> Look at this. Unitas provided you with the devices, and you provided them with detained Pokemon in exchange for large sums of money. You're not detaining Pokémon here. You're kidnapping them! 
Well, Chief Butler, did I miss anything? Exposed by this kid. You never stood a chance against us, okay. Butler. Wonderful work, Tim. Thanks. Pikachu, you were amazing, too. I owe you two big time. Anyway, now you can finally get out of here. Yeah, and I could really go for some coffee after this. That was great detective work, Tim. On behalf of the Rhyme City Police, you have our sincerest gratitude. Lieutenant. Hmm. Ah, claro. Now, Chief Butler, please hand over the controller. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Broken! There goes our proof. Well, that's just great. Well, Chief, no, Butler. I've got a lot of questions for you. <laughs> now, come with me. Blinded by cash, he lost sight of the path of justice. So, you'll take care of dinner tonight? Yeah, no problem. It won't be anything special, though. Oh, I still need to get Sophia. Oh, hey! Irene! You dropped your ring! Right, she can't understand me. Oh well. This is Harry's ring. Harry. Well, it's done. Was it the right choice? I did what's best for my family. Me? Even if it makes me the bad guy. If I told her the truth, Irene, she never agreed to a divorce. <laughs> You're the only one I can confide in, Pikachu. Pika Vega. Eh, jangan. This was his ring. When your father left, he didn't take it with him. Are you getting a divorce? No way! Don't worry. We're not. He may have said that's what he wanted. But when he said it, he couldn't bring himself to look me in the eye. Oh, he always does that when he's hiding something. I'm sure he got involved in some sort of incident. So he pushed us away to make sure his family stayed clear of any danger.
Looks like Unitas has their next target. Unitas. Rachel's friend, Jessica. Tomorrow, Unitas. we'll Unite. go to Bamboo Burrow Unite. Pokemon Unite. and make sure Jessica Unite. is safe. Unite. And if she has Unite. any information about Unitas, Unite. that'll get us closer to solving this case. Unite Factory. Who are they? Chapter 4. This is flashback. What are they up to? Hmm? Wait, hold on! Who's there? Oh boy. Excuse me, what are you doing here? Who, us? Just gathering bamboo shoots. It sure doesn't look that way. All right, I shut him up. Oh. Let's go. Oh, no, Pikachu, this way. This way! Nice job. Hey, are you okay? Looks like those jerks were using you. Huh? What's this? A vial? Pokemon have been going berserk, and this stuff is why. Exactly. You think so too? If this gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster. But I will not let that happen. Thanks for all your help, buddy. Bye now. Wanna come? Well then, you can have this. Looks great on you. Right, let's go. Looks like I got what I was after. Now I just need to capture that detective dude. 
I've already given you the research data. Just leave us alone. What did you say? You've got a lot of nerve making demands of Unitas. Unitas? Been waiting for you, great detective. Now you're dealing with an elite. Golem, attack! Goro! We're up, Pagoro! Tim. Jessica sure gave us a lot to consider, huh? No kidding. So, she was attacked by people who were after Emma's research data. And they called themselves Unitas. The same name as Emma's project. Which means, if we head to the lab... My thoughts exactly. This mystery's been twisty, but I think we're starting to get it. You're right. I suspect that... Wait, Tim. Just a second. I'd like to back up our theory a bit more before we go and get too excited. How? We'll start tomorrow morning by organizing all the information we've collected up to now. This view of the bamboo forest is reminding me of Harry all over again. Did you and my dad come out this way too? Sure did. This is where me and Harry faced down a rampaging lair rod together. <sighs> Good times. That's wild to think about. You and my dad were right here, huh? Yeah, and it wasn't a cakewalk, let me Pikachu, tell you. can I have a word with you? Huh? Have a word? <coughs> What's this about, Tim? If you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you in private. Hmm... In that case, let's chat in there. So, what's so important that we need to talk alone? Oh, do you need relationship advice? Uh, yeah, you wish. Ever since we got to this area, You've been acting really strange. You think so? I guess all those memories rushing back jumbled my brain. Well, let's start unjumbling it, then. Sounds good to me. Where should we start? Okay, let's go in chronological order. When my dad came here, do you remember the first thing he did? Well, Harry came here to investigate the Berserk Pokémon incident. But the gate to the Bamboo Forest was locked, so I had to borrow the key. After that, we had our fateful encounter. Huh. Don't you find that a little unusual? Shut down. You'd never met my dad before you crossed paths in the bamboo forest, right? Yep, that's right. And 
that case, don't you think it's strange? I mean, how could you even know about what happened before you met my dad? Huh? Now that you mention it, that is strange. Maybe I heard from Harry? After that, you helped pinch him in the bamboo forest? Yeah. I was by his side the whole time, protecting him until his injury got better. Tracking down the medicine was tough. But... how is that possible? Pikachu's contradicting himself somehow, isn't he? Pikachu, that doesn't make sense. If you were with Pancham the whole time, you couldn't have gone looking for medicine. Huh? I could have sworn I stayed with him. Maybe I left once to go look around for some medicine? After Pancham recovered, do you remember what happened next? Yeah. I heard a Pokémon roar from somewhere way off in the forest. I saw some Pokémon fleeing, so I figured there was something beyond the boulder. And then what? Then what? I climbed the boulder and continued on. And then I followed Harry and climbed the boulder too? Just as I thought. Your memories have gotten all mixed up. Pikachu. If what you said is correct, wouldn't that mean you climbed the boulder twice? That's what I said, but... Maybe I got mixed up because I saw Harry climb it? As you went deeper into the bamboo forest, what did you find? I came across a suspicious duo with a lair on. And I remember calling out to them. I shouted something like, Excuse me, what are you doing here? They tried to play dumb, and then the lair on suddenly came charging at us. Wait a second. That doesn't make sense. suspicious duo. Isn't it strange that they could understand what you were saying? Yeah, I guess you have a point. Maybe Harry said it for me? Hmm. So, the two of you escaped from danger and decided to become partners. That's when you received the hat, right? Yeah. I gave this hat to Pikachu as a gift. And Harry put it on my head? Pikachu, you say you got the hat from my dad. But you also gave it to Pikachu? That's right. How strange. I'm starting to remember more. This whole thing started... with that car accident. I remember... driving my car that day with my partner, Pikachu. Suddenly, the brakes failed and we crashed in a valley. And then I... I got thrown out of the car. Everything started to fade, and I blacked out. All I remember is Pikachu desperately crying for help. But, of course...
Yes. These memories up to that point were Harry's. What is the matter? You do not appear to be injured. It is too late for him. He is fading as we speak. You would go that far. I will need your physical form to save him. Even I cannot say for certain what will happen. Knowing this, do you still wish to save him? Very well. However, I have one condition. My cells are being used by some humans for nefarious ends. I want you to retrieve them for me. The fate of this human rests in the strength of your bond with him. Now. Anyway. That's what went down between me and Mewtwo. It sounds to me like Dad and Pikachu had a really strong bond. Yeah. By the way, Tim, don't you want to know what me and Mewtwo talked about after the ER incident? Huh? You remember what happened then, too? Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. Crystal clear. After we solved the R case, I went out to that alley to meet up with Mewtwo. Here you are, just like I promised you. Indeed. Thank you. So, that means it's my turn now. Before we proceed, there is something we must discuss. Oh yeah? Don't tell me you can't do it now. Right now, Pikachu's consciousness and your human consciousness coexist within you. It is a miracle that this balance has endured as long as it has. I can only imagine that your trust in one another has made this possible. If I were to forcibly separate the two... You're saying you can't guarantee that I'd survive that? Correct. I would say you have a 50% chance of survival. Hmm. We don't have much time. Have you decided on which one to choose? Yeah, I've made up my mind. I'll take my chances with that 50%. So be it. Hey, mm. wait a second! When you say I might not survive, do you mean just me or Pikachu too? Your fate and Pikachu's are inextricably intertwined. Then I can't afford to leave this up to chance. Sorry, can you wait before making me human again? Please. I'm sure Tim will figure something out. Besides, I'd like to be here and watch him grow up. I'm sorry, Tim. Can't come home just yet. Very well. However, because you used a move earlier, you are now in a precarious situation. If your human consciousness remains this strong, Pikachus will disappear. Then, what can I do? I will restore the balance between your consciousnesses, and you will forget what you now remember. Amnesia again? Hey, wait! If you do that, how am I supposed to tell Tim I'm... All this time I've been looking for my dad, and all along, you've been right beside me. I'm sorry. I should have realized it sooner. You think that's why we could understand each other? 
Yeah, that really should have been our biggest clue, huh? After all, you're my own flesh and blood. You've really grown up, Tim. Tim. You finally found me. Thank you. So, what do I call you now? Should I call you Dad? Hmm? I mean, you're my dad, but you're a Pikachu, too. <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if someone overheard you. Pikachu is fine for now. Huh? Just until I'm back to normal. Yeah, sounds good to... I mean, Pikachu. <laughs> 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 I'd better get back to normal soon, for everyone's sake. Thanks to my dad's strong bond with Pikachu, Mewtwo was able to save his life. But our work isn't finished just yet. The name of Emma's project was Unitas. The same name as the organization. We need to investigate the Unity Lab next. Excellent, excellent. cast is here. We need to prove Murloc's deception and put a stop to his scheme. Yeah, but where do we even start? Tim Goodman, what are you doing here? I've been investigating a mysterious group. They're called Unitas. Unitas. Defensive Pokemon Unite through. Investigating Unitas? Why are you doing that? Unitas has been causing some serious problems, Mayor Myers. Problems? What are you talking about? Papa, please listen! Mayor Myers, Unitas is a dangerous organization. But all they do is conduct research into Pokémon. I created Unitas for the benefit of Rhyme City. How could that be dangerous? On what basis do you make this claim? Remember the jewel theft at the Dennis residence? Yes, I did hear that the Aurora drop was stolen the day after the award ceremony. That's right, and Unitas was involved in that incident. Excuse me? And I also have evidence that the Aurora drop was brought here. How could that be? I'm sure that was just a few bad apples. You can't say the whole organization is dangerous just because of that. Actually, they've committed other crimes as well. And they even targeted us, too. Everywhere we went, we kept getting attacked by Unitas. 
I'm sure that was just a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? They even went after me and Jessica! Rachel, you too? Murloc, did you know about this? Yeesh, he's completely ignoring us. Please, Papa, you have to stop this! I can't do that. Not when human Pokémon coexistence is so close to being achieved. And the cubes are how you'll achieve that? Exactly. Pokémon can be dangerous at times, but the friendship cubes will solve that problem. Friendship cubes? Mayor Myers, those cubes are the problem. Do you have any idea how Pokémon have been harmed because of those cubes? Hey, wait. Isn't that a bit off? Think about when the cubes were used to do bad stuff. The PPB incident. The case with Butler. I did hear about that. He was using one of those cubes to make a Pokémon commit crimes. You what? Why would he misuse the cubes that way? Because of that, my Pikachu was wrongfully arrested. I nearly lost a member of my family because of those cubes. You've helped me understand how the friendship cubes could be dangerous. If they're misused, which is not enough of a reason to stop this operation. The friendship cubes, humans and Pokémon can finally understand one another. Mayor Myers, can't you see you're being deceived? Hmm? What do you mean? The purpose of the cubes, in truth, is to deprive Pokémon of their free will and force them to do what humans want. I was told the Friendship Cubes were revolutionary devices that would allow humans and Pokémon to live in harmony. Mayor Myers, you've been deceived this whole time by the name Friendship Cube. They're actually called Control Cubes. Please, you have to stop this before it's too late. No, never! Even if it's all true, this was Emma's dream! Emma, Mr. Yeah. You know this wasn't Mama's dream! Rachel... Papa, don't you remember? When I was little, and got lost in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa Ring saved me. I was afraid, and crying, and Senthit was worried for my safety. The Ursa Ring chose to rescue me. All Pokémon have free will and can think for themselves. But you're trying to impose your will onto theirs. Do you really believe that's right? How can you claim to coexist with Pokémon if you take away their free will? Papa, is that really the future you want for Rhyme City? Because Mama's dream for people and Pokémon was nothing like this. And if she knew, if Mama saw this, you just can't do this, Papa! Rachel, I didn't realize what the friendship cubes were really doing. I see now that I was wrong. I'm sorry, Rachel. I nearly 
made a terrible mistake that couldn't have been undone. As much as I'd like to, we can't wrap this up just yet. There's one last problem to take care of. Yes. Who took advantage of my plan? Who could have done these things? If there's only one person it could have been. It's time to expose the one pulling the strings, Tim. Yeah. The one behind this? Mr. Murloc! You're the culprit! Uh, will you shut up? I have to say, I'm incredibly disappointed in you, Mayor Myers. You know you're playing right into Pokémon's hands, don't you? Rhyme City's a lost cause if you can't even protect your only daughter. What did you say? Go. Murloc! You were deceiving me? Your role in this has come to an end, Mayor. As for the great detective duo, I knew you were good, but even I'm impressed you made it all the way here. Mr. Murloc, those cubes will never be used again. Give up already. <laughs> you really think I care about that plan? It was nothing more than a means to an end. Behold! This is the masterpiece that I've truly been creating. You mean, this has nothing to do with the cubes? We saw the meteorite and the aurora drop in the lab. Do those have something to do with my dad and Pikachu? Excuse me? You dared to snoop through my research? <laughs> Common rabble like you wouldn't understand it anyway. Explaining it would be pointless. Just pay attention. Pay attention? I've got a bad feeling about this. Controlled. I believe you may recognize this. The Aurora Drop? What are you... What are you gonna do with that? Easy.
worked. A Pokemon? Wait, hold on a minute. What Professor Gordon said about the Pokemon from space? <laughs> <laughs> Deoxys has returned! <laughs> this can't be happening. And to think, I was complicit in this madman's plan. Oh, the best is yet to come. <gasps> Pikachu! Murloc, let him go! Oh, I've come too far to stop now. The sleeping man and Detective Pikachu both brought me the energy I need. These two energies come together as one. All of my research, all of my dreams, will finally become reality! for humans to understand Pokémon is for them to become Pokémon themselves. A union of human and Pokémon. This is the true meaning of coexistence! something. But first I need to help Pikachu. <laughs> What's that?
I cannot imagine why, but I sense a human's presence within that Pokémon. Tell me, what has happened? That guy used the energy in that and Pikachu to become... Deoxys! Is that so? Not only has he misused my energy, he is using a Pokémon for his... <laughs> Before either one of them wins, we need to get somewhere safe. That's it! Rachel, Mr. Myers, take shelter in the elevator! But, Tim... I'll save Pikachu. Okay, Growlithe and the others might be hurt. I'll take care of them. Come on, Papa, let's go! Right. Tim, you be careful. I will. Pikachu! Wow, that was intense. But looks like both me and Pikachu are okay. What a relief. I gotta say, looks like the party's in full swing. Believe it or not, it's Murloc. Yeah, I know. Looks like he's become a Pokémon. We have to stop him somehow. I can't imagine you two losing. But we humans caused this mess. We're the ones who've got to clean it up. Yeah. What about your body? I look safe enough in there. Anyway, let's hurry. You okay?
everything's changing. Maybe removing the excess energy didn't do anything because they're already fused together. Think, Tim. There has to be another way. Wait a minute. Murloc wrote about the energy in that report of his we uncovered. That, that's right. What exactly did Murloc use that energy for again? If Murloc used that energy to fuse himself with Deoxys, then maybe that's the key to separating them! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you going on about? Murloc and Deoxys are fused together because of that energy. According to the report, the balance of that energy is crucial. Oh! So we just gotta disrupt that balance! Yeah, but how do we do that? If we can somehow expose Deoxys to these two energies... That excess energy will throw off the balance! But... how do we do that? Once we figure that out, we can get back at him for throwing me into that pod. Deoxys flying around, the busted fusion machine, and then there's me, the great detective Pikachu. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Aha! I think I've got it! A bolt of brilliance! I'll jump up from the top of this machine and hit Deoxys with the energy! Oh, how very thoughtful. <sighs> Time to close this case! Take the elevator. I should be able to get over there. Okay, hand him over, Tim. Yeah. There. Mm. Looks like we're ready to go. So, hit it! <laughs> in midair with two capsules of energy? You can't do that. Only I can do this. Yeah, I know. It's just, isn't there another way? Come on. Who do you think I am, Tim? In all my cases, I've never given up. I'm the great detective Harry Goodman! We've gathered all the evidence we need. Now all we gotta do is use it to pin down the culprit. Please, be careful. Just leave this to me. Wait, what are they doing? If we unleash those moves, this place will explode! I've gotta hurry! Okay, let's 
get this done. Just need our body to hold out for me. Dad! Tim! Hey! Sorry, I kept you waiting Dad! so long. I... <laughs> Easy now. You're gonna break my ribs. I'm so glad you're okay. Pikachu, too. Yeah. Little guy's sound asleep. He really did a great job back there. Yeah. That was me, you know. Half you, maybe. <laughs> That's fair. Come on. Everyone's waiting. Let's go home. What's that got to do with it? 
Sophia, you're still young, and detective work is dangerous. Aww. Go on, Harry. Tell her what it's like. Yeah. Sophia, the thing about being a detective is... I could take your calls! Oh, maybe. Harry! Pick up?